Hi, this is David McCam for WebTNG. This video is my second look at ACPT, ACPT Advanced Custom Post Types. It's a plugin for creating custom post types, custom taxonomies, and custom fields, and it has some features for displaying those on the front end as well. If you saw my first video, then you will remember that my conclusion was that while creating the custom post types was relatively straightforward and easy, there was still some work needed for creating templates for display on the front end. Since that first video, there have been a number of changes. One of them was that there's been integration with the Divi Builder, and then most recently with Bricks Builder. And in this video, that's what we're going to look at. We're going to quickly create a custom post type using ACPT. Then with Bricks Builder, see if we can create the single and archive template to display the custom post type and custom fields on the front end. So let's get started. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. This is the ACPT website. It's actually one of the nicer looking websites in this niche. Here they have documentation, roadmap, change log. If we scroll down, we can see these are integrations. And here's pricing. They have annual packages for 1.5 and unlimited sites and lifetime packages as well. So I have a testing website with bricks installed. I've created a basic header and footer, got some sample data, and let's go to the back end. Here's the bricks theme. Here's ACPT. I'm going to go ahead and activate that. And now pause the video and enter my email and license number. Okay, so I've activated the license. Come here is our dashboard. See this, is the built-in posts and pages. We can create, add meta boxes with custom fields here. We can associate taxonomies. It tells the post count. And then this is where you can create templates using ACPT. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and register a post type. And this says it's for the slug, so I'll do book, singular label book, plural is books. We'll select a book icon. Okay, and then I'll go next step. This is where we can customize the menus that I'll show in the admin. I'll say menu name books and go to the next step. Turn this on and for menu position, I think 20 is maybe going to put it over here somewhere near the top. So we'll try that. Capability type posts, so it'll have the same capabilities as posts. I want it to have an archive. And I don't think we need to turn on the rewrite or query var. I think that's if you want to make a change from the default. So I'm going to click save. And then you see it's going to do a countdown and refresh. And now I'm going to create a taxonomy. We'll register a new one. Slug will be genre. Single will be genre. And plural will be genres. Go next step. We'll just change this menu name here. Okay, and then we'll go to settings. I'll turn that on. And I think I'll just uh, leave all of that as the default and click save. Okay, and now let's go back to, let's see, let's go to the dashboard and for taxonomy, we'll associate this with books, does its countdown and refresh. These are probably bricks internal taxonomies. I'm going to go back to our dashboard and let's create the meta box, the custom fields. 
We'll add Metabox. We'll give it a title. Call it Book Fields. And now we'll add our first one. Give it a slug. So we'll call this Author Website. And I want this to be a URL field. We have Editor, Number, Text, Text Area, List, HTML, Select, Select Multiple, Toggle, Checkbox, Radio Button, Date, Time, URL, which is what we're going to pick, Phone Number, Email Address, Address Map, Color, Currency Weight, Length, Embed Content, File, Gallery, Image, Video, Post Relationship, and Group Field, a repeater. Okay, so lots of field types here. I'm going to pick URL, and we'll go uh, link to the author website. It has some tabs here, so we'll go and check the label, the website, and then if you want some text before or after, if you want to set the field width, you can do that. And then if you wanted conditional logic for display, you could do that. Okay, so I'm going to go and add our second field. And this one we will call author photo. And we'll go down and find that image option there. And a brief description, photo of book author and advanced author photo. So now I think we can save. Okay, so what you can see now is very quickly we were able to create our custom post type, our taxonomy, and our custom fields. So that was very fast. Okay, so let's go and add some records. We see here's our book. And here are our genres, so let's add a book. I'm just going to copy over some records here. There's a title, the body, and we'll add a genre, legal thriller. Okay, and then we'll set the featured image. I think I've got this uploaded already, maybe. Do I? No. Okay. So I'll upload the image. And I'll paste in the link to the author website. And I think this has two fields here. One is for the actual link and one is for the text for the link. Okay, and then we'll upload the author's photo. Okay, so there's our first record. We'll publish that. And let's just add one more here. Paste in the body. We'll give it a genre fantasy. Okay, and then we'll get the... Okay, here's a link to the author's website. And we'll upload the author photo. Okay, so here's our second record. So we've entered a couple of records. Now let's go into Bricks and start to create our templates. So let's add a new one. And we'll call this Book Archive. And we'll select the type of template. So it's going to be Archive. And we'll publish that. And we'll edit with Bricks. So here we are in the Bricks Builder. We'll add a section. And that gives us a section and a container. And let's set the container max width to 1280. Inside this container, we'll add two blocks. Okay, and if we click on the container now, and let's go to our direction. OK, 
Okay, so we have two columns. Click on this one, first one. This is going to have the photo in it. So we'll give this a width of 20%. And we'll do this other one. We'll give a width of 80%. And then clicking on the container, if we go to content, you see there's this option for a query loop. So we're going to select that and we'll set up our query. So we want this to be posts and the post type is going to be books. And we're okay with the order, the number for pay, by page and other things there. Okay, so I think our query is okay. So now let's go here and we will add an image. You see it automatically duplicates it there. And we'll go here and we'll add our post title. You see it is pulling in some things there, so let's go and check our settings for the template. And we'll add our condition. And this is going to be an archive for a post type, books, and then for populate content, we want our archive posts post type books. So that's looking pretty good. Let's go to our image now and we'll click on the dynamic data icon. And so we want this to be the featured image. Good. Let's set the size of this now. So the width, I think we want, let's say 180 and the height to 60. Let's go here to the title, and since it's an archive, we'll make it an H2, okay? And then here, we will add our excerpt, okay? And let's do the setting for the excerpt. We'll say about 35 as this length. Now let's go and let's add our read more button. So let's add a button. Read more. And our button will give it some margin at the top. Our button we will do our link. We want it to be dynamic data. And we want it to be the post link. We can do that with the post title as well. We can turn on link to post. And we can do it with the image. We can do, let's go other URL, dynamic data, post link. See, this is going pretty quick. Now let's go to our container. Let's give it a row gap between rows, let's say 30 pixels. Column gap of 30 pixels. Okay, we're not really getting that here. Let's do it this way. This is looking pretty good for a start. What else do we need to do here? I guess we could add in another button here just to show that we can add a custom field. So I'm going to save this. Okay, and then I'm going to go and on this block here, let's add a div and then I'm going to move this inside of it. And then in this div, I'm going to add another button and let's make sure that's going into the div as well. This button is going to be visit author's website. And our link will be dynamic data. 
And now we want to go all the way down to ACPT author website. And then let's go on this button and let's give it a little bit of margin on the right. So moment of truth now, let's save this. Let's go out to the dashboard. I'm actually gonna go to menus now to custom links. We'll put on the URL to book, save the menu. Let's go to the front end. Moment of truth, cross your fingers. Awesome, looking good. Is this go to the author's website? It does. We need to make this uh, open in a new tab. Does this go to the single? Well, we don't have that. We haven't defined the single yet. Okay. This is working well. Let's go back to our template and to our button here. And let's set that to open in a new tab. All right, and save. Okay, so there's our archive. That was pretty nice and pretty easy. I was pretty happy with how quick that was. Now we will go to the WordPress admin. We'll go to now add new template and we'll add the book single. Okay, we'll give it the title, book single. We'll pick that it's a single, publish, and now edit with bricks. So we will do uh, similar to what we did before. We'll add a section. That gives us a section and container. And then here we will add two blocks. Okay, and we will have these be columns. And this one we will have to be 20%. And this one will have to be 80%. Let's see, our container will do a max width of 1280 pixels. We're not going to use a query, okay? But otherwise, what we're doing is going to be very similar. We're going to start, we're going to have an image. And over here, we're going to add the post title. And now let's go and do the settings for the template. So conditions, we want it to be a post type, books, and then for our demo, now let's see what we have. We're going to do single post page. Let's try the whistler. There we go. Apply preview. All right, so we'll go and click on the dynamic data icon. We want the featured image. We'll go to style and we'll set the width to 180, height to 260. And then over here in this block, let's add a div. Okay, and in this div, now let's add a text box, okay? And we'll say published on, we'll click the dynamic data, and this will be the post date. We'll put in a divider, we'll say by. I really like this inline custom fields, dynamic data like this, this is just very nice. Okay, so now we want to find the author name. And then finally, let's put in the genre here. Terms, genre. Now in this block again, we will add the post content. We'll have the post content. We'll give it some margin at the top. 
and then the image here let's have it centered good okay and so in this block we will add now our author's photo so another image and go to dynamic data we'll scroll all the way down to author photo and we'll set the margin at the top and we'll set the width and height and now we'll position that okay and I guess we can add the button, the link to the author's website here as well. Let's give that some margin at the top and center that. We'll go visit author website, dynamic data. Again, we'll scroll all the way down to book field, author website, open in a new tab. Okay, so I'm going to save this now. Moment of truth again. Let's go to the front end. Go to books and let's do read more. And it does not show. Now, if that ever happens to you, the first thing to try is to go to permalinks because we have a new template. Sometimes you need to save the permalinks. And I'm hoping that that takes care of it. Awesome. All right. So here we have our single with the custom fields. We have our archive. And the archive is very flexible with that loop builder. We can add in custom fields here as well. We're using the custom post type created with ACPT, the custom taxonomy created with ACPT, and the custom fields created with ACPT. And those are all integrated and in work inside of Bricks. So that's the walkthrough. Now let's have just a little bit of discussion and conclusion. So just a couple of comments. ACPT is still very new. It's a young project, but I'm very pleased with how quickly it's coming along. I've had a few discussions with the developer. He's very responsive to user feedback. We've got now the Divi and the Bricks builder integrations. I think it was a really good move to integrate with Bricks. My expectation is that there will continue to be new enhancements and integrations and improvements, and that this will become a strong option alongside of advanced custom fields, Metabox, Jet Engine, and other options. So that's my walkthrough and the second look at ACPT, the integration with the Bricks Builder. There's a text summary of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and videos. Hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching.